Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to todayifeellike.com. Today I want to show you how you can get a free Android phone, brand new and unlocked, and I'm going to walk you through the process and show you how to do it. It's super easy, so let's jump into it, and here we go. All right, before we go any further, let me be straight up with you. You're not gonna have to come out of pocket for a new phone, but you will have to spend a little bit on the first month of service, and you're gonna need any old Android phone, something janky that you can trade in. This is a little Altel phone that I bought on Black Friday like five years ago. I think I paid $7 or $5 for it or something like that and I'm gonna be able to trade it in. But let me walk you through this process and show you how it works and how you can get a brand new unlocked Android phone for free. All right, so here I am on my iPad. Let's go over to the website where I can show you how to get this free phone. So the first thing we wanna do is just go to our browser and we wanna to go to this website right here, visible.com. So this is Visible Mobile. It is a cool uh, cell phone place that has all kinds of cool uh, plans and services and stuff that you can get. So, um, but they are a discount cell phone provider and if I'm not mistaken, I believe they run off of the Verizon network. So yeah, it's, um, you know, they have all kinds of stuff here. You can get plans for $25. You can get, uh, you can use your own phone. You can bring a phone, uh, you can get a new phone, but this, let me show you here what we're going to do. So we're going to go over to the shop section. We're going to click shop and we're going to scroll down and you'll notice here that they have some deals on here, all kinds of stuff where you can buy new phones and get like a $200 prepaid MasterCard or a $100 prepaid MasterCard if you bring your current phone with you. Um, and they have all these different, uh, all these different various deals. Now the deal that I got for the free phone is right here, which is the visible ZTE Blade 10 Prime. And so I'm going to go ahead and click that there. And we'll see that it's out of stock right there. So it's showing out of stock. Now, if you click on swap, it's right now, it's not gonna let me do it because it's showing that it is out of stock. But um, when it's in stock, you just click the swap button and it will take you to a page that allows you to put in the IMEI number of an old Android phone or a new one, whatever. I, I recommend using some old janky phone that you just have laying around. And then they'll tell you either the phone is compatible on their network or it's not. And then you can either choose, if it's compatible with their network, you can choose to use it on their network or you can trade it in. If it's not compatible, they'll give you a message that says your phone is not compatible, but you can trade it in towards a new phone. And so that's it. You'll trade it in and then they're going to uh, tell you that they have to charge you for your first month of service, which is going to be $25 and then you can get a new phone. You're gonna get this phone or a different phone. So let's just go ahead and go back and we'll check one of the other phones here and see if they have another phone that's on the swap deal. And we'll come through here and you see there's a bunch of different phones on here. Let's just click something like the uh, LG Stylo 5. So we'll click that there and it, it doesn't look like this is one of the swap deals. So we'll go back and we'll check another one here and see if any other ones are on the swap deal. And it doesn't look like it. When they do the swap ones, they go out pretty fast. So, um, so yeah. So, anyhow, it looks like there's not going to be any more swaps going right now. So, once you get it, once this is all done, though, once you once you've gone through the process and you've swapped out and you've uh, filled everything out, they're going to then uh, help get you set up with the new phone number and get everything situated. You have to pay twenty five dollars for your first month of service and then they are going to ship you your new phone and your SIM card. So I should have my phone today. I'm gonna, once I get it, I'm gonna unbox it, show it to you guys, and then I'm gonna ship back my old phone and we're gonna see how this whole process goes. All right, everyone, so I placed my order for the phone and it got here. Now, it did take a little bit longer than expected because when I actually went on and filled out the form and, and got my order placed, it said it was supposed to actually ship and get to me overnight. But for whatever reason, it was delayed. I was supposed to have it on a Friday and it got here, well, you know, a few days later because it, they missed the Friday delivery. So I had to wait through the weekend and get it, the, you know, this week. So yeah, but let's go ahead. I have the box. Let's go ahead and open it. So I have my handy dandy box opener. Let's just, uh, let's just cut through there. And this is not proper cutting etiquette. Do not cut towards you when you are cutting. Make sure you cut away from you. So uh, just, a little, just a little hint there. So 
you can uh, make sure you don't hurt yourself. So little packaging stuff there. And it looks like we have, let's see, um, what is this? It looks like it says, tricks of the trade, get your phone ready. Don't return any accessories, memory cards, chargers, or damaged battery. Pack it up, place the device under the plastic film, secure the insert uh, inside the shipping box, tape the, the box closed, see packaging, mail it in, slap the return label on the box, make sure to cover the original shipping label, bring your package, um, you know, shipping label and contact them for pickup. Anyway, so, all right, so it looks like, um, it looks like we are going to put this, put our, uh, it looks like we're gonna put our phone in here and then we are going to get this thing shipped out. So that's the, this is the shipping label, by, or the shipping return box there. So, um, and then here we have, uh, we have a SIM card with a SIM ejector and then we actually have the phone here and this is the ZTE Blade 10 Prime. So this is it. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, actually I'm gonna unbox this thing. So let me grab my, uh, let me grab my other camera and, um, and let's unbox this and see what the phone actually looks like. All right, so here we are. This is the box right there. We can see right there where it says ZTE Blade 10 Prime. And yeah, that's pretty much all it's on there. On the back here, we can see it says package contents is a smartphone, a charger, USB cable, uh, and quick start guide. And so that's pretty much it. So um, let's open it up. There's a little tape here. So I have my handy dandy box opener, which is my Benchmade bug out for all of you that are interested. And let's just cut right through there. And let's uh, get this off here. Let's get this box opened up and see what this phone looks like. And after I finally get everything set up, I'm going to uh, do some tests on here and see what the speed test looks like and, and whatnot, see how fast this thing is working. So um, yeah, so there we go. We have a quick start guide right there that tells us how to get this thing uh, up and running. So that's nice to see. So we'll set that off to the side. And yeah, there it is. It looks pretty cool. It's a nice 6.3 uh, inch screen. We can see the, some of the specs on here where it says 6.3 inch full screen, 16 megapixel plus five megapixel dual camera, face recognition and octa-core processor. And this is the ZTE Blade 10. So we'll take that plastic off there. And yeah, look at that. That looks pretty nice. So let's set that down there and then let's go ahead and uh, see what else comes with it. So let's get this uh, stuff out of the box here and pull that out, see what's in here. And if there is anything in here, it looks like there's, there's something in here, I just don't know what it is. So let's see, this looks like it is going to be a charger. So let's, uh, I think it's just gonna be the cable. So yep, there it is, it is a cable. It is a USB-C cable, that is nice. So. Um, that's gonna plug right into the bottom there, USB-C, so it's pretty standard. Um, I don't know if this phone actually has wireless charging or not, but it's good to see that it actually has USB-C uh, charging, so that's one less thing I have to worry about. So this is the power brick here. Um, it's unclear what the wattage is or the voltage is, so I don't know if this is gonna be quick charging or not. Doesn't, uh, doesn't look like it from from the thing here, but it does look like maybe it says 30 volts. So yeah, I'm not sure. Well, we'll, we'll try it out and see if it's gonna, if it's gonna uh, quick charge here. The letters on it, the writing on here is so small, it's practically impossible to see what it is from the, from the here, from here. But I'll see if I can maybe take a picture and blow it up and see what's on there. But, so this is everything right here. We get the foam, we get the, uh, the charger, and we get the power brick, and we get the quick start guide right here. So that is everything that comes with it. We're not gonna get a pair of headphones, so that's unfortunate. Um, but we do get a headphone jack. So if you need a headphone jack, we are gonna get a headphone jack on there. So that's nice to see. So anyhow, let's get this thing uh, booted up, powered up, and then uh, I'm gonna run some speed tests and just try it out and see, how, see what it looks like and how it feels and how it works. All right, so I have the phone set up here and everything went really, really well with the setup. And I mean, it's super easy. All you do is just simply make sure you are logged in to the visible mobile app on the device. Just make sure you download it and uh, log in with the username and password that you set up when you are actually uh, getting the service. 
and then just pop your SIM card in there and everything is done for you. It's super, super easy to do and it was a breeze. So now let's take a look at a couple of things. I know one of the things that people really like to look at is uh, the camera and what the photos and videos look like. So let's just go ahead and take a look at a quick video clip and see how it performs. All right, everyone. So this is just a quick look at the ZTE Blade video. And do understand that this uh, camera only shoots at 1080p, so the phone only shoots at 1080p. And this is what you can expect from the microphones as well. So um, if you're looking for 4K video, you're not going to get it. Um, but yeah, this is what you can get from the audio and the video from the ZTE Blade. And uh, I have to say it looks okay. It's not bad. Um, it's Again, you're not getting 4K, get 1080p, but it still looks pretty decent. So that was a quick video clip, and as we can see, it looks pretty good. Now you're not gonna get 4K video on this phone, you're only gonna get 1080p, so just be aware that you're not gonna get 4K, but the 1080p looks pretty good, I have to say. The colors look nice, they're a little saturated, but I think that's a look that a lot of people really like nowadays, so I think that works well for, for people. But anyways, let's take a look at photos. This has the regular photo mode and portrait mode, so let's go and take a look at a couple of photos. All right, so here is a portrait mode photo, and I think it looks pretty good. I mean, it definitely blurs the background out as we would expect, and it does a pretty good job of cutting out, uh, you know, my face and my hair, and it, you know, e even as you can see my arm reaching forward since I'm holding the camera, that part is out of focus, but then everything on the same plane as my face there seems to be in focus. So you can see like the Africa print on my uh, hoodie there is in focus, whereas, you know, the trees and everything else there in the background really start to fall off. So now, um, one thing I did notice in the portrait mode is that the photos seem to be a little bit softer, like the focus seems to be a little bit softer on the face. It's not quite as sharp as it is with the uh, with the regular photo mode. So just be aware of that, but you can put a little bit of a sharpening uh, filter on there and take care of that, no problem. But yeah, overall, I have to say for a budget phone, this is doing a really nice job. All right, before we get out of here, there are a few other things that I wanna test right quick. One of them is the data speeds. Let's do a speed test and see what we're gonna get on here. This does run on the Verizon wireless network, so Visible Mobile is uh, running on the Verizon wireless network, so let's try that out. Also, let's run a Geekbench test and find out what the sort of uh, single core and, and multi-core scores on this phone are. And one last test, the most important test of all is, this is supposed to be an unlocked phone. So let's take out the SIM card from say my iPhone here, which runs on T-Mobile, pop it in here and see if it's gonna work. All right, so here we are. Let's go ahead and open up the speed test app so that we can actually go and, uh, and find out how fast our internet speeds are truly gonna be. And the first thing we actually need to do is turn off our Wi-Fi. So let's turn that off. And now let's go find the speed test app so that we can actually run it and see what our network speeds are going to be. All right, there we go. Let's open this up here. We'll click that, click it again, and there we go. All right, now we're going. And we can see here that the, uh, that the visible mobile is running on Verizon Wireless because it shows right here LTE, Verizon Wireless. So let's go ahead and click go and see what we're going to get as far as speeds. And it is going, going, and yeah. All right, so there we go. So it looks like we are not getting the highest of speeds right now. So. We're only getting about, uh, it looks like about seven megabits down. And I was getting a little bit faster last night, but it was late, so maybe there wasn't as much network congestion. And, um, but right now I'm getting better, uh, I'm getting much better upload speeds. So last night I was getting about the same upload speeds, but download I was getting about uh, 25 or 30. So there we have it. It looks like we are at uh, 7.9 for uh, for down and we are 19.4 uh, up. So let's run this one more time just to see what we're gonna get. So, um, so let's go ahead and hit this and we can see right here that this is on the Verizon Wireless Network and let's go ahead and hit go and see what this is going to give us. So here we go, it is running. See if it's gonna give us any better. It does not look like it. it looks like it's gonna be about the same here. So yeah, that's unfortunate. Now our uh, upload speeds on this one are showing a uh, considerably lower, <laughs> slower, so uh, yeah. Anyways, there's that. 
The one other thing I want to test here is I would like to do a benchmark and see what the benchmarks are on this. So let's go ahead over to the, uh, the Geekbench app here and see what the Geekbench app is. And you can see here that this thing runs pretty smooth. You can see how it, it uh, scrolls really nicely. And so um, it does, the phone is actually pretty nice even though it's a budget phone. All right, so there we have it. This is Geekbench 5 right there. We'll go ahead and open that up. Now this does take a little bit of time to run, so we're gonna go ahead and, uh, and actually run it. And I actually already ran it, but, um, but we can see here a little bit about the device here. We can see that it's a ZTE Z6530V. It has Android 9. The GPU is a Mali G72 MP3. The resolution is 1080 by 2280. Uh, and it has a, a display of, uh, of 400, PPI display PPI of 400. So, all right, let's go ahead and we'll run to see the uh, CPU benchmark and we'll see what this is gonna give us. And again, this may take a, just a little bit of time to, uh, to run through. All right, so there we have it. It is finished and we have our scores. Let's take a look here. So we can see right here, it says that our single score, our single core score is 286 and our multi-core score is 1366. So let's see how that compares to some other uh, devices here. So let's see, let's scroll down. This is gonna give us all the individual scores that it ran and then the multi-scores and all that good stuff there. So let's go ahead and we'll check the we'll check some comparisons. So we'll go to the multi-core score. This is my device where it says uh, 1366, and as this compared to the OnePlus 7T is about you know half of that. So uh, the OnePlus 7 Pro is a little bit uh, a little bit less. This is the Xiaomi Mi, uh, the Xiaomi 9, uh, the Xiaomi uh, 9T Pro, the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus the uh, Xiaomi Redmi K20 Pro, the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, and the Note 9. And so yeah, you can see that this thing is really, really, really low. I mean, it, you have to get all the way down to like the, um, to like the Redmi 7 before you start getting a device that's uh, slower than this one here. So this one's 1366, the, uh, the uh, Redmi Note 7 is, is 1288 and the Galaxy A50 is 1182. So, and if we start talking about single core scores, then we have the S10 that's up here at 759. And again, 759 for, this, for the OnePlus T, the OnePlus, uh, OnePlus 7T, the OnePlus 7 Pro is 729. The Galaxy uh, Note 10 Plus is uh, 695. And so, yeah, going on, if we get all the way down here, because we were all the way at 286, so we have to go all the way to the bottom, and we're at the bottom of the list, just all the way at the bottom of the list there. So, yeah. So, anyhow, that's what you get with your, uh, with your, uh, your benchmark. So, it's not the fastest phone. It's not the most powerful phone, but it will serve you and, and get, uh, get your basic needs done as far as doing email and web surfing, streaming video, taking photos and video. You just won't be able to do 4K stuff and you're not gonna have the highest performance. So don't expect to do a lot of gaming. You're not gonna be, you're not gonna be playing Call of Duty or Fortnite on here, but you can still enjoy the phone. All right, so the last thing we're gonna do is go ahead and swap out the SIM cards and, uh, and see if I can use my T-Mobile SIM card in this phone and if it is truly unlocked. So let's do that now. All right, so I went ahead and swapped out the SIM card. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can call my other line here, my business line here, and see if I actually can get a phone call through. So let's go ahead and dial it up. So let me just uh, put punch in that number right quick and see if it is going to work. So yeah, let's see here. Is it gonna roll through? Oop, nope, said call ended immediately. Ooh, what's that about? All right, let me try it one more time. Let's see here, let's hit that again. Hit that, let's see, is it gonna work? Hit that, and nothing so far, let's see. Let's try this one more again. Let's try this one more again. Let's hit dismiss, and we'll try this one more time. Oops, let me go back. All right, let's see. Uh, all right, let's see. Let's hit this and see if it's gonna work. And 
Nothing so far. Huh. That's very strange. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna work. Let's see if I can call into it. So let's try, let me just, uh, let me call in and see if I can get a phone call into this. So um, let's see here. Let's see. Let's see if it'll ring through on here. And let's see if this phone's gonna ring with my, let's see. What is it gonna do? What is it going to do? Huh. Nope, it went straight to voicemail. Ooh, is this not gonna work? Is this not going to work? Is this going to be a locked phone? I thought this was supposed to be unlocked. If that's the case, I think I might have to send this back. Ooh, that is not good. That is not what I wanted to see at all. So, let's see. Let's try, uh, let's try one other thing here. And let's see here. Um, yeah, let's just go in and try and dial something else up. Let's see if we can dial something else. Let's try a different number here. So I'm gonna try a different number and see if this is gonna, if this is, nope, did not do it at all. Immediately shut it down. All right, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna restart the phone. Sometimes you have to restart these things. So I'm gonna restart the phone and see if this is gonna work for me. All right, well, I have bad news to report. I was under the impression that you could use pretty much any SIM card with a visible mobile phone. I was under the impression that these phones were unlocked and they are not. This phone is not unlocked. I tried it with my AT&T SIM card, did not work. I tried it with my T-Mobile SIM card and it did not work. So basically you're just out of luck. I mean, all you can use is right now that I can affirmatively say is the visible mobile SIM card. So, I mean, it is what it is. I guess I'm still gonna do some tests with it, try it out, see how the service works and everything. But unfortunately, the phone is sort of useless to me because I don't expect that I'm gonna keep that service for any period of time. I'm just gonna use it for the first month of service that I have it and then I'm gonna turn it off. So yeah, that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. So there you have that. All right, everyone, so there you have it. I have to say, I'm not disappointed in the phone because, well, the phone was free. I paid for a month of service, the phone is free, and if you plan on keeping the service, I think you'll be okay with this phone. It's a decent phone, it's not a high, it's not a high grade phone, it's a budget phone, but it is pretty nice, it has a nice size screen. Um, yeah, it just seems like it's a pretty decent budget performer, but I was disappointed because I thought this was supposed to be an unlocked phone and apparently it's not. So, you know, I mean, that is what it is. You know, I guess I should have read more on it or something or figured it out, but it's not that big of a deal. I wanted to test out the service anyway, so I got the phone for free and you know, it is what it is. So, you know, just be aware. I thought I was gonna be able to find a good way to get you guys a free unlocked phone or mostly free since you had to pay for a month's service, but it's not turned out that way. So yeah, it is what it is. If you're looking for new phone service and a cheap phone, this is still a nice way to go. So there you have it. Anyhow, I'm gonna leave a link to it down below in the video description so that you can check it out. I'm also gonna leave a link to my Amazon page so you can see all the products I reviewed over time. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook. And I am Larry with todayifeellike.com. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, Love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.